Well, hello and welcome to this latest video. In this video, we're going to look at um, some tips and tricks. Um, MySQL in NetBeans quite often has some connection errors. It might work in PHP MyAdmin, um, etc. But it, it all of a sudden it stops working in NetBeans or it won't connect. So we're going to have a look at some of the reasons why. Okay, so there are three main things to look for. The first one is, is MySQL running? Um, I know this sounds silly, but if you're running X, uh, XAMP or LAMP or something like that, you may have um, MySQL not set to the start of the service. So make sure it's running. Um, go into XAMP and check that it's running. Okay, that's the first problem. Uh, which happens. Um, the second one are connection configuration errors. Uh, these are minor errors you might have made. You might have changed the password. You might have changed some other items on it. Um, or you're not sure of which configuration you should use. So the connection configuration. And the last one is... A setting in the configuration file mycnf. Um, when you do run the security program in XAMPP and in MySQL, it will actually block um, certain settings. Now, the way that NetBeans works is it requires one of these settings to be actually activated, whereas uh, MyPHP doesn't. So this is somewhere to look for. Okay, so very quickly we're, we'll go and have a look. So I haven't actually set up a MySQL database in here, so we're going to do it very quickly. Okay, and we're going to see the errors. Now, first of all, you can see that I do have MySQL running. It is up and running. Okay, so let's do that. Register a MySQL database. Okay, you need to put in your password, and I tend to click on remember password, and in admin properties, you need to complete uh, this. Now, you need, th this, this um, properties isn't very useful, so we, because you can't really copy and paste very well. Um, uh, I've noticed so you need to navigate to the opt uh, to the um, directory which uh, is the MySQL bin directory uh, on your system now on XAMP that will be CXAMP bin on Windows or opt um, lamp bin on uh, Linux and um, you now need to find for the first one, you need to look for uh, MySQL admin. Okay, and enter that. There are no arguments on that one. On uh, the path to the start command, you need MySQL D on Windows. Um, so it's MySQL D on Windows, but in Linux, it's MySQL D safe. Okay, and again, uh, there's no commands there. And if I try and copy that, it doesn't usually work. Oh, it has worked today. Okay, so you need the MySQL admin, and then you need to actually set up some arguments. So you need to put in the username which of course will be root and then you need to put in the command which is shut down okay so that should allow this to start okay so we've got the basic properties set up localhost that type of thing and we've got the admin properties uh, set up so if I click on OK it's asking for my master password, so click on OK. Right, now that's all set up. 
Okay, if we try and connect or start, okay, it's now started. Now, in some scenarios, this will not start. And what you need to do is to click on your MySQL database in XAMPP or navigate to MYCNF, okay, and open the configuration file and the problem you'll usually find is if you come down here you'll see skip networking has been commented out you need to put it back in again otherwise it won't actually work okay so you put it back in again and I shall make a note So I can actually search for the name John and I'll find it quite easily. Uh, this is, uh, in fact, I'll actually use my initials, okay, because I've made some other changes on here. So I can search for JQL and it usually finds it, okay. Now remember that once you've saved the file and it's saved, okay, that you have to restart. Uh, MySQL. Now that should fix the errors. Okay, so the first thing is to make sure that your database is actually running. The second one is to make sure that it's properly configur configured. Okay, so you can see that it's configured here. And the third one is to make sure that you have the right settings in um, the mycnf file. I hope you found that useful uh, and I hope it solves any problems that you might have. My name's John, thank you for watching.